What's up, buddies? My name is Matt Tuck from Axe Wound, and you're checking us out at Download 2012. Hello and welcome to the Crank Podcast, day one at Download 2012. Here I am with Matt Tuck from Axe Wound. Uh, this, the, the weather's beautiful, isn't it? <coughs> it is classic British festival weather. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Excellent. So, um, <laughs> uh, so you're playing a uh, sort of first festival show with Axe Wound. Um, how was your sort of first show in London uh, last Wednesday? Uh, it was great. Um, you know, we haven't had much rehearsal time because of Bat's commitments and various other Bullet albums to make and stuff like that. So we've kind of We've done what we can, and it's it's already a very slick, powerful machine. So I'm very proud of it. Yeah. Today will be our fifth show. Right. So we've had a couple of shows under our belt to get warmed up, but this is the one we've been most looking forward to. You yeah, know. Yeah. So. So um. Yeah. You know, what can we expect from it? The first ever festival show. Uh, accident. Who knows? Yeah. Well, I know. It's going to be great, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've uh, you know, all the guys that we've put around this project are great musicians. They've all been in bands and done numerous years of touring and playing and stuff. So. It was kind of easier than it sounds to do, and everything's cool. It's just going to be a great night, especially because the weather's a bit shitty, and we're in a tent. Hopefully, we might get a few more guys in there that may not necessarily want to come along, yeah. but just to shelter for a couple of hours, and it's going to be a good time. We're going to bring a party. Yeah. Was it weird not being on stage with you, you know, Mason Bullet? Um. Yeah. The, the first couple of shows, it's starting to settle down now. You know, so we're starting to find a bit of a rhythm and a flow. Yeah. So, um, you know, it is. It is. A, was a little weird, but now it's it's kind of becoming its own little thing, yeah. which is good. You know. So, so it's like having Liam from Cancer Batters. You know, you sort of, It's uh, good. I'm just not. I'm just not used to like a maniac running past every ten seconds. Yeah. You know, with us guys, you know, I'm usually centre stage, stuck to a mic, and they've got this cr- crazy Canadian just like flying past every ten seconds. Yeah. Like, Do you, fuck. Part of your head to think, is that a stage diver? Is yeah. It's just like, what is going on? I'm just not used to that kind of craziness on the stage, yeah. you know, because I'm usually planted in the centre, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, in the background, Billy Talent playing, but they're yes. kind of, because of uh, the weather and a lot of things changing in the last minute, Cancer Bats couldn't be on the main stage today. Correct. And uh, they kindly offered, like, a... Yeah, that was good. So, so was, just watch that now, Hail yeah. Destroyer, how was it... What, it was you know, great, they definitely thing? brought a bit more energy to the crowd for, like, five minutes, which is good. You know, Billy Talent are killing it right now, they sound amazing. So I, I just think that the crowd just appreciated them giving up five minutes of their set time for the bats to go on and do a song. You know, that's a very cool thing. Cool. Good um, for them. We can't see on camera, but you're wearing wellies, so you kind of yeah. prepared for the weather. Uh, yep. Are you are you an outdoors man? Could you cope camping for the weekend? No. no, no, I couldn't. I could probably come for the day. It's cool, but not for the weekend. It's it's pretty hardcore here at the minute. Hopefully it'll brighten up. But yeah. you know, good for them out there, man. It's the hardcore out there. You know, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. I mean, could you? I mean, did you used to camp in festivals growing up when you? Uh, no, I, I only used to, I used to go to like Reading on a Sunday. I never did the whole weekend thing. A because it was a bit far for me when I was like growing up, and B couldn't afford it, you know. So yeah, so yeah, I just went to the ones that kind of meant a bit more to me, like Sundays at Reading and stuff. So you know. cool. So what, what can we expect next from Max? Like the the albums mm. kind of ready. To yeah, al- albums all done. It's all mixed, ready to go. Obviously, we've, we've got quite a complicated situation about schedules and stuff. So we, it needs a bit more work to plan the release. So when it comes out, we can still do a bit of touring, you know. So. We were hoping for a July, August release, but it's going to be realistically September now, just because it's pointless releasing it without backing it up with a little tour, you know. Yeah. So, and Liam's busy with the bad stuff in July, etc. So, so it's all good. But yeah. we'll get there in the end. It's 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 great record. We're super proud of it. And tonight's, you know, people are going to be very very surprised at the show, you know. And what about Bullet? Uh, you know, you went to Thailand uh, mm-hmm. to work on the album. Yep. You, how happy are you with the uh, the end result? Very very happy. We've we've still got seven songs left to track vocally, but. The other seven are done, you know, so we're seven songs in. We listened to them in the car on the way up just now as well, just to show a few people to see what they thought, and everyone was like, wow. Cool. So, yeah, it's, it's an exciting, exciting time for everybody, you yeah. know? It's going to be busy. I mean, are the yeah. new songs heavier? Are they come to showcase a more a um, different approach? To I wouldn't say heavier. heavier. It's not lighter, it's not heavier. It's just every, like the feedback we've had from management and friends that have had a sneak preview is that it just sounds like a very confident, focused rock band, you know? So. There's not a lot more you can ask for that, really. We're super happy with it, and we're usually a good judge of our own stuff. Cool. So, yeah, if we're happy, we think the fans will be happy, you know? So, act soon, bullet for my Valentine. You're going to be very busy for, the, you know, yeah. a type, long time to come. Yeah, it's good, right? man. You've got to keep yourself busy, you know what I mean? And doing the act soon thing has definitely wet the appetite for music again. It was getting a little bit stale, you know, doing it this much. You know, you do need to kick up the ass sometimes, and Axe Wound, for me, was that kick. And I'm totally psyched on the new bullet stuff, and just got a lot of new stuff to play a lot of people Excellent. in the next six months you know cool. so yeah it's good well, Matt, uh, thanks very much for joining us the cool. Crown podcast and uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you get into some warm before you play yeah, tonight I'm gonna catch pneumonia probably well don't do that <laughs> yeah don't do that <laughs>